Are we going in? Yes. Into the waters. Into the water. I think you need to give me your ticket, I think. Yeah. Do we need to give you a ticket, sir? Please. Walking in the shaft requires uh, descending many stairs. The floors of the water system is not paved. Walk with caution. Do not cross any barriers or railings along the path. Yeah, you, the you hear that, Jonathan? Yeah. Do not cross any barriers or railings along the path. Yes. I have to say that to him. He has to. <laughs> Hard to listen. Patrick, please. Go in. Do you know what people say about Hungarians? Thank you. Toda. Toda. <laughs> okay, here we go into the descent. Careful on the steps, Jonathan. our partners in the rebuilding of Jerusalem. Let me tell you, the nations are together in helping to refashion and rebuild Jerusalem. I see South Africa and England and America, they're all supporters of Israel, and it's amazing. So let's follow this tunnel. Ooh. Emergency exit, okay. Use the handrail because it's quite steep. Yes. So, uh, where's Patrick gone already? Just 
to think brother King David walked these stairs, so did lots of people, the apostles probably. Wow. Uh, Hezekiah definitely did. This was the main place to get water to bring it up to the city. So a bit up and down with water. Patrick? This says the kings of Judah were anointed right here at the Gion Springs. So this is it, this is the spot, this is where the scholars believe that not only were kings brought here and anointed as king, but this is the spot that, that many believe that Solomon himself was brought here and anointed king. If you remember David was dying and um, one of his other sons had proclaimed himself king yet King David himself had promised that the kingdom would go to his son Solomon and so the text is from 1st Kings chapter 1 verses 38 to 50 and we'll just read a small portion where it says Solomon anointed king so Zadok the priest Nathan the prophet Benaiah the son of Joadiah, the Chephraites and the Pephlaites, went down and had Solomon ride on King David's mule and brought him to Gihon. And Zadok the priest then took the horn of oil from the tent and anointed Solomon. Then they blew the trumpet and all the people said, Long live King Solomon. And all the people went up after him. And the people were playing flutes and rejoicing with great joy so that the earth shook at their noise. So this is the, the spot that many believe Solomon was anointed king of Israel. Uh, no, 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 no. You can't. They said don't cross the barrier. In and out, oh, and caused Solomon, my son, to ride upon my own and so bring him down. Anointing king of his. Ah, so this is the spot that Solomon was anointed king. The bull was carved into the rock. Yeah, and 
he, and there's no water now today because he dug, he dug into it and diverted the water. This is it. Yeah, look, one king's free, 32. <clears throat> That's where Solomon was pronounced king. Really? Here? And like he says. Hmm? Wow. This is what I saw in that video. They brought him down uh, while his brother was pronouncing himself king somewhere else. And uh, they brought him in. Which makes sense because this was the water source at the time. Solomon Kirai, it and volt Kirai Alfalkenva. Okay, so it's continuing. I mean, that's amazing, right? But possibly. I'm going to put that. He said there's another site further can, down. Can, can you film this, please? No, no, I look, can't. Look, look, look. Come, it's filming. Can you see? I will jump here. <laughs> uh, I, I'll walk here, but... Okay, so we're going down to, into the water yes, system. Yes, Did you know the water flow of the Fifty thousand full water bottles per hour. Wow, that's crazy, right? So we've got two. We've got Ezekiah's tunnels and Canaanite tunnel. So the Canaanite tunnels is where um, we can go to Solomon's Point. Really? That's the Canaanite tunnel, but we don't want to... We're following blue, are we? We're following blue. Let's stick to the blue. We can have a look later. Do you want to go first? Whoa. There you are. There we are. We're actually standing on wall. We're actually walking on... Uh, we're not actually walking in water. Oh, I, don't, I don't think I'm prepared for this. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I put the flashlight on your face. Oh, yeah. Whoa, how far? The water is not so cold. Like in my country, the water is even colder. It's like ice, this one is ice. How far does it go? 
you have another place here. I, I will go there as well. Well, I was not expecting that, gentlemen. Wow. It's, it's, it's not hot. It's, it's not hot. It's not cold. It's not cold. As long as it don't get too high. <laughs> well. They should clean this place. I will complain. I will make a review. Wow. Wow. Sorry, that, that we will wait that day to go. What? They, 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 they are in a group and they don't want lights, so I respect that. So, mm -hmm. so in 2 Chronicles chapter 32 verse 4, it says, speaking of this place, So there was gathered much people together. And they stopped all the fountains and the brook that flowed through the midst of the land, saying, Why should the king of Assyria come and find much water? So that verse is referring to this place right here. King Hezekiah of, of Judah feared that the abundant water flowing outside of the city could be used by the Assyrian army. He therefore diverted the water from the Gihon Springs through this tunnel that we are now watching. He cut through the belly of the rock. Ezekiah's tunnels channeled the water to the pool of Shiloh. Um, which you will know that Jesus performed a miracle in that pool. The winding tunnels that we see here were hewn um, from both ends, from both sides, for a length of about 533 meters. The height between the source of the spring and the end of the tunnels is a mere 30 centimetres. A truly amazing feat of engineering that we see right here. And it says in 2 Kings chapter 20 verse 20. Now the rest of the acts of Hezekiah and all his might and how he made the pool and the conduit and brought water into the city. Are they not written in the book of Chronicles of the king of Judah? That, my friends, is speaking of this place right here. This is history. This is Hezekiah's tunnel. I expected it that be. Okay, I'm going to do it this way, right? Slow walkers. You okay, Patrick? Sorry? You okay? Yeah, very fine. Okay. I'm very happy to be here. 
Okay, and you want to no. do it? You want to do it? What's the name of this tunnel again? Hezekiah's tunnel. Hezekiah's tunnel. Would you like to do it without lights? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I think I prefer light. Okay, no problem. But if you want, you can turn off. I mean, everybody else is complaining because I've got my light on. <laughs> Everyone complaining because you have? Yeah, so I've been trying to give them space. Yeah, but okay, we, yeah. We, are, we are making a video and I think they should have mentioned it in the reception and somebody... A, but a they crew, said you need a light. A crew member, a crew member to come and to tell us that we do But they should pay more for that, but they didn't. This where yes. everything is, you know, like... Yeah, it's a lot of work. A lot, and they did it narrow because you don't need to have a... So Jonathan, how are you feeling? I, I feel really excited. I, I should have documented more before I came here, but I really like it. Good. Yeah.
at the end of Hezekiah's tunnel. You come out through here and thank goodness, oh, light, and you get this beautiful view here coming out of the tunnel. And the tunnel was here. Look how dark it is in that tunnel. Without light, you cannot even see your hand. But then when you get this beautiful, glorious picture, light. Thank you, God, for your light. Your light is just amazing. Like, this could do for the meditation video. Without Patrick in it, it would be great. Patrick, can I possibly, you know, when you come out, I can just get a picture just of the place? Of me? No, without you. Okay. Before all these people come. <laughs> <laughs> 